Alright, so I'll be showing you how to animate 3D objects. To start with, we want to make an empty event. So we have something to add it to. Then find BCC Title Studio. This is the effect we'll be using. And you of course need to have the BCC plugin to get this. Click on Launch UI window. And as default, you won't have this type of workspace. So go to Window, Workspace and choose Animation Dual Horizontal. This just makes it a lot, a lot easier to work with the 3D objects and animate them. We're gonna delete the text. And we, we can put the scene to 3D render. This doesn't do much if you only have one object in the scene. Because it's more about which object is like above the other one. Uh, but yeah, go to add new media and choose 3D model file. I'm gonna choose this Meliodas sword. And as default you see that it doesn't have a texture. So we need to find that. So open up this, like when it's minimized. And go down to the color. This is usually where, it's, where the texture is. And when I click on this, you can see all of these settings here. So we can change the type to to like texture, here's diff different types. The texture one is just a texture, and then you have a texture reflection, which usually looks best. So I'm gonna pick that. Then click on this here, and choose image file. Then find your your texture image. There's a bunch of different ones, but you, you just need to think about the, the one with the color. So I'm gonna pick this. And now you can see that we have a texture on our on our object. Okay, so now we're gonna animate the object. And first I just wanna make it so it faces the right direction. So let's change the rotations. like this and then I'm gonna click on this this first keyframe go here and make it easy in the slash out and then just change the rotation Okay, it doesn't let me preview it for some reason. Well, this is the type of simple animation I usually do. And then I do the X, Y, and Z movements in, in the 3D camera. So it fits everything in the, in the scene. So let's maybe do something quick here with the 3D camera. So I'm just changing the, th the compositing mode like we usually do. And then go to the track motion if you just want the animation to be for the for the object. And in the edit I think I just did, some, did something simple like this. gonna go like four frames forward and reset it so we have a bit of a, a faster animation way too fast let's just leave it like this and you can of course animate different properties and also go to the camera if you want to maybe zoom in on some parts
<laughs> this is just a some dumb example. But yeah, make something better than this. This is bad. <laughs> I hope you learned something at least and if you did consider leaving a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already anyway i'll see you next time bye